2009, we started as an idea. 2010, we have an actual facility that has been fully equipped, fully certified, fully qualified to manufacture aircraft parts. Since then, we have contributed 100% of our products with respect to exports, and on top of that, 40% of our procurement today is from the local market. We are competitive and we intend to be, remain competitive and constantly we are looking at the international market in the sense of saying how can we improve our competitiveness to make sure that our customer, our partner, Airbus and Boeing, are always happy. So the recent contracts, we can talk about it in three perspectives. One is on the product side. The product brings in new capabilities. These are much larger, much more complex products that require more automation, more technology that are involved in the manufacture and the fabrication of those products. So on one hand, it brings in new capabilities to this company, which we previously did not have. On the other hand, there's a lot more integration activity going on. So we're going to integrate them with systems, we're going to do the testing, and then we're going to ship it directly to the final assembly line. With respect to the people, that kind of culture, that kind of mindset, that kind of involvement of technology will require a lot of development and upskilling and training so that these individuals that we have in this facility today are going to be of a very high standard what you would perceive or what you would see in places like Toulouse or Seattle where Boeing and Airbus are located. And then the third thing which is extremely important to us is the positioning, the global positioning. We have always aspired from day one to become one of the top three global manufacturers for Boeing and Airbus for the aerospace industry. And the new contracts that we have signed at Vanbrugh is getting us one step closer to that vision. We're going to be looking into a new facility, roughly, roughly almost twice the size of this facility, but it's going to be a, a state-of-the-art, highly automated, my opinion, a benchmark for the global industry. In the new facility, we'll have more automation. In the new facility, we'll have latest equipment. In the new facility, as I said, we'll make it a factory of the future, a benchmark. We have to make Strata a global company, a global company that can compete with any other company to get to the vision of becoming the top three. We believe that global competitiveness is not only based on people or, or products, it's also based on what value you can add to, the, to your customers. So we're looking at different markets, we're looking at Morocco, we're we're looking to other North African markets. We're looking at different parts of the US. We're looking into Mexico. We're trying to understand what each place can contribute back in terms of value, such that we can capture that value and give it back to the customer. We made the promise and we have delivered to that promise of achieving 50% Emiratization. So the company is approximately 50-50 between Emiratis and non-Emiratis. Uh, the more aspiring figure is actually the promise of women in manufacturing. So we've seen a huge growth, an unbelievable, unprecedented. You can check any other aerostructure factory around the world. I can bet that none of them have 86% of their local population being women. This is probably the most inspiring and job that I've ever had in my 12 years working for various organizations. And it's the most inspiring one because you actually contribute to a product that is being used by people all around the world because we're single source in our products. You know, the, every aircraft that is manufactured, a 330, a 340, a 350, a 380, a 777, or a 787 has parts made in the UAE. So it's very inspiring to see my colleagues, my peers, people such as myself working together making those parts, putting them on those aircrafts, and then those aircrafts are carrying millions of people around the world.